Hi, in this video, we will cover how to easily set up any Unity project to deploy and host dedicated game server directly from Unity's editor using the EdgeGap plugin. Before using the plugin, there are three requirements to ensure Unity works for dedicated servers. First, make sure to use the latest EdgeGap plugin. While EdgeGap is available in the Unity Asset Store, a far easier way to add and keep the plugin up to date directly from Unity's editor is through the Git method. From the Unity editor, select Window, then Package Manager. Click on the plus button and select Add Package from Git URL. Then, type the Git URL such as github.com slash edgegap slash edgegap dash unity dash plugin dot git. Finally, click Add and the package will automatically download and be added to your project. Second, head over to Unity's hub to confirm you have installed all three Linux dedicated server build support module in your project. If not, simply click on the package and install them. The third and final prerequisite is to install and run Docker. It containerizes your game server to help it deploy and run faster. If you haven't yet, you can go watch our Docker installation video or head over to docker.com and follow the installation procedure. It's easy and takes just a few minutes. Now let's get started. Load up your project. In our case, we are using the tank sample from Mirror Networking that is already set up for dedicated game servers. Any project set up for a dedicated server will work with the EdgeGap plugin. From the top navigation menu, select Tool, then click on EdgeGap Hosting, which opens up the plugins window. To function, you first have to generate a token. To do so, you must create an EdgeGap account. Click on the Sign in to EdgeGap button, which will open up your browser. If you do not have an account, signing up is free and takes just a few seconds. Select Get Started at the bottom, then input your email and a password, and opt in to our terms. You'll then instantly get a verification email. Click on Confirm your email to validate your account. Finally, input your organization's name and confirm. This is the EdgeGap Applications dashboard. We strongly recommend exploring it with a tour, but we'll skip it for this video. Automatically, a pop-up with your unique one-click token appears. Simply copy it by clicking the clipboard icon and paste it in the plugins text box. Then select Validate Token. If the token is valid, the Build Your Server tab opens automatically. If needed, change your build folder name. Then select Build Your Server. Once the server build process is successful, move to the third step, containerizing your game server. Build Pad is the relative path to your server build artifact. Let's keep the default for now. Image Name is a unique identifier of your choice, which labels your server build before shipping. Again, let's keep the default for now too. Image tag is an identifier pointing to a specific version of your image's timestamp, which is a great option for tagging, which you should use in production. As this is an initial test, we will keep it here as default to keep things simple. Add the Docker file can be used to customize the recipe for your images, but keep it to the default for now. Finally, additional optional Docker build parameters can be used to further instruct Docker on finer nuances. And let's go. Select Containerize with Docker. After a few minutes, your containerization should be successful. Let's deploy locally, namely on your machine, to make sure the server image is functioning properly before we upload and deploy it to EdgeGap. Make sure to read our documentation to learn more about these options, including port configurations. However, we'll skip these details for this video. Take note of the port number, namely here it is 7777 and the protocol type in this case UDP, for later. Now, it is time to get your game server online to our platform's container registry and make your game playable worldwide. Application name, server image name, and tag provide more customization options, but we'll keep them to default here again. Click on Upload Image and Create App Version. And after a few seconds, a browser to the platform opens up. You can once again configure optional settings, including vCPU resource usage, memory, and more, but we'll create a new version with the default settings for now. You will now be prompted to define a port for your new application version. Make sure to set up the same server port value for your test your server locally step. Click Submit. While you can deploy the server from the web platform, return to the plugin to deploy it from Unity. Under the Deploy a Server to EdgeGap section, while application name is filled automatically, select the version from the platform you want to deploy. Click on Deploy to Cloud, and after a few seconds of waiting, your game server is now available for the world to play. Congratulations! Evidently, test things in your projects too. The mirror sample we use today has its own simple test. Each project is unique and will require adaptation, so the following is just for reference. In our case, select the deployment from the platform and copy the host URL and note 
the external port then in the engine, close the plugins window and start your project. Once running, replaces the client's address with the host URL and change the external port from the deployment. Finally, launch the server and connects to deploy easily. If you needed to simulate a second player in your project, we recommend using Peril Sync. A link is available in this video's description. That is all for EdgeGap's plugin for Unity, which empower game developers with automated game server hosting. The likely next step in your game development will be to connect players with a matchmaking system. For more information on EdgeGap's free, simple, and fully automated matchmaker, check out our tutorial. Thanks for watching.